Miles is first up this evening. Whilst on holiday in South Africa, I had a two-minute conversation with what I thought was my wife, only to discover that a small hippo had wandered into the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> David's team, what do you make of that? Miles, <laughs> describe your wife to us. <laughs> Uh, tall, slender, statuesque. <laughs> so did the hippo have a very similar voice to your wife? <laughs> uh, the, the hippo was just sort of moving gently around. Uh, <laughs> <and> <laughs> but not for that. <laughs> <laughs> not, not in especially close proximity. What was the conversation about and how did you go well, two minutes? I'll tell you what the conversation was about. It was about me and I was doing most of the talking. <laughs> um, <laughs> which obviously contributed to my So where, where, in fact, was your wife? Uh, my, I, don't, I don't know where she was. She was just not... I was Have in... you ever seen your wife again? <laughs> <laughs> so where were you? I'm, I'm guessing that this is a safari scenario, am I right? Uh, it was sort of on the, on the outskirts of Cape Town. Describe the nature of the structure you were in. <laughs> is it a building? Is it on the fourth floor of a... Of a Did okay. the hippo have to get it, in a lift? They're, they're... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. OK, well, it's mainly bungalows. The resort is a collection of uh, sort of bungalow buildings, largely A-frame wooden buildings with a kind of thatch roof. Why were the doors so big a hippo could get in? Well, it's a, it's a small hippo, isn't it? <laughs> How small is yeah. a small hippo? <laughs> Like, like a George from Rainbow, or...? Very <laughs> 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 big. So, but... the, the hippo was only that big? Yeah. It's so about the size of a, of a Labrador. Well, let's yeah, be clear. clear. Is yeah. that its width or its length? <laughs> uh, that, is its, that is its width, as viewed from behind, and I suspect from the front. This is worse. Your wife's like the back end of a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> this A-frame bungalow has how many rooms in it? Uh, it's, got, it's got two rooms. At one end, there's a, a big bathroom, uh, and then there's uh, the rest of it is a very big open-plan bedroom, and it has a sort of seating area in the middle of it, and it has a bed at the far end, a very robust bed, and... Uh, <laughs> a bed you could make love to a hippo on? <laughs> <laughs> that is speculation, but I wouldn't bet against it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're in the bungalow, OK? I'm in the... I'm in the, uh, the ensuite end. Yes. OK. And I'd been shaving and then, <laughs> you know, shouting over my shoulder. And I realised after a while, I'm not getting a lot back here. And, um, I turned round and I saw that I had not been moaning about my career to my wife, but to a baby hippo. <laughs> How long was How... this baby yeah. hippo? Well, I only saw it from the back, but I imagine, statistically, it'd be, what, probably three times as long as it was wide? OK. <laughs> so, so, broadly, so it was a sort of as long as this desk? Nobody measures or, or animals by long. width. What are you, you doing? Know, oh, I saw a massive snake, it was this big. So what are you going to say? Is he telling the truth? I think? think, based on the width, yeah. it's a lie. I think that was a panicked reach for width. <laughs> <laughs> on the basis of the panicked reach for width. <laughs> I think we'll say it's a lie. You're going to say that's a yeah. lie? Yeah. OK, yeah. Miles, were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? It is... a lie. <laughs> oh, <wow>. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>